Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Minecraft server realm. I'm just sitting over here by the fish shanty that I worked on last time. I just spent the evening, or a couple evenings, I should say, getting some fishing rods out of it and upgrading those fishing rods until I had a fishing rod that was the ultimate uber fishing rod. And then I spent another a night over here and filled up one, two, three of these things. And that guy has some leftover stuff, and there's some leftover stuff. And I have uh, went ahead and made an, a bow out of that. There's a lot of stuff that drops out of these things. A lot of enchanted books. I'll show you that in a second. But I made this bow here. And let me see if I can get in there real close on that. It's on breaking three with infinity, power four, mending, and flame. So that's my go get them and kill them all bow and arrow setup. Boo! Boink. Oh, a little high, but okay. And in here, I've set up a couple more chests. As you can see, I'm still collecting saddles. All of the enchanted books that I've been able to get. Some of them are better than others. I'm storing up these fire protections down here because I'm going into the, uh, into the, <laughs> the underworld here. What was the, what's the nether? The nether? I'm going into the nether to have some trouble there. And there's, you know, there's some other things here. I really like that silk touch and miscellaneous. But I only got one mending book out of all of that, and it has a fortune two on it. So that's the kind of thing you want to put on your fortune pick, but I already have a fortune pick with mending. So I'm just saving it just in case I lose that in something horrific, I suppose. I also made a rock hammer here. It's my silk touch pickaxe. So this is the guy I'm going to grab to go down and get a whole bunch of smooth stone so I can turn all of that into stone brick. And then build the wall around here, or do miscellaneous builds, like the next one I'm thinking about doing. The next big build I'm going to do is probably going to be a villager breeder. Now, I won't use my design. I'll use a tried and true, trusted, dusted uh, design that I find on the web. But essentially, with the physics such that they are, really all I need to do is get about 16 villagers over by the spawn chunk around a water pool with about, uh, what are we talking about here, 64 doors or so, let's just say. And that'll be enough to start generating iron golems, and I'll just have a collection system and all that. You know, I could do it probably in a 5x5 five five block and just have them keep generating there and whatever. But, uh, I, you know, I'll just go out and find out whoever's done the most uh, maximum efficient one, and we'll do that. You know, that's uh, a lot easier. I'll give them credit. Thank you very much, whomever that may be in the future. I'll probably use the same design I used before. So what am I doing today? Well, today, I, you know, it's post-Thanksgiving, so I'm a little full still. Still uh, trying to get some things done. i got to get caught up on this really fast and then some other things because I'm a little behind because Thanksgiving. And uh, I want to be able to get uh, caught up. So what I'm going to do is a little maintenance stuff here around the uh, the farm, we'll say it, around the homestead, if you will. And uh, get it all uh, good to go so all the bugs are worked out. This guy right here, I've discovered that the stair block doesn't work as well. So we're going to get rid of that guy. And I have also discovered these half blocks don't work as well, so we'll just get rid of that guy. And I'm going to go ahead and convert all of this. So that guy and... That has to be there. Huh. This, okay, yeah, that's what's got to be there. So let me go up and do this one. And get rid of this guy. And fix this, anyways... So this whole episode is just going to be a little bit landscape ma maintenance uh, maintenance around the village here just to try to get uh, everything, my ducks in a row for the next big project. The next big project, like I said, will be the villager breeder. But I also uh, want to clear out some space and make that wood farm. People have voted, and by people I mean one. So <laughs> the one vote that came in was for the tree farm, so I'll build a tree farm over there. And as you can see, I've already kind of did a little terraforming back of this. This was a huge dirt hill that came all the way out over here. But I might round it down a little bit more. It looks semi-natural, but I'm thinking that the tree farm would go here rectangularly. And I maybe have a, a water stream over to like a receiving section down in what is now the, the pit that leads down to the mine. If you've been watching for a while, you know the pit is kind of not exactly safe <laughs> for the environment. And what is that over there? That better not be what I think it is. Please tell me those are just things that aren't rendering in. Oh, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the tree farm's on the list. But I definitely... Oh, let me go ahead and, you know, suit up just in case here. You never know when a when a creeper might show up and sizzle at you. So I was talking to Xyphus just the other day, as it happens. He's been having troubles with his computers, among other things. But he's hoping to have something going on here at the end of the, 
the next quarter, if you will, so, uh, tax returns and things like that. So uh, I'm keeping it open. I'm going to keep building, but uh, I'm going to make it ready so that we can do whatever we want to do and maybe convert some other things. We'll see. Uh, that'll be fun. I'd, uh, I'd like to see him. I'd like to hang out with him. It is fun playing with Mike, and uh, I would like to spend some time doing that. All right, let's do that one there and that one there, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's right. The reason I didn't want that there is because it pushes. Okay, so we'll remove that one. And I don't have any dirt on me. So, hmm. Well, you know how you fix that. Oh, do I have a water block under there? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Grab a piece of dirt, you replace that, and then you take that piece of dirt and you put it right back there. Bam, fixed. Except I need a hoe, which I have down there. But let me finish these up first. Okay, my friends, I am just putting the last little bits of additions or changes, if you want to call them that, edits, revisions, whatever, to my rice paddy field on the mountainside. Yeah, it's a wheat farm, but, you know, <laughs> I like it. So uh, what I had discovered was it was having some issues with things, uh, wheat and etc., getting kind of caught on the sides here along the the fence post on that little spit there, and on each uh, excess, uh, excessive, excuse me, successive <laughs> one that popped up. So I went ahead and changed that to make it look like that. And now I'm going to get it going on. I've already taken the liberty of tilling down the soil bits wherever they needed to be tilled down, and now I'm just going to let the water run and see how much it gets. Now, I'm just kind of looking to see if it's going to actually get stuck anywhere. That one I kind of expect, because, look, it's getting pushed off a little bit. But everything is flowing the right way now, so that's good. And it's flowing very quickly. I thought I was going to have to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried another experiment over there where I wanted to see if I could put a lily pad in the middle of the thing. Since all this water's here, I'm just going to cruise on down. And that lily pad, it looks like, created this spot. Interesting. Okay, do I have any dirt? I don't have any dirt. Okay, i got to get some dirt and fill that back in. But because it didn't come down over there, this didn't come down over here, etc., etc. So let me go ahead and get my dirt and get that filled in. And then we will get back to the other parts of the tidying up that I was planning on doing around the base here. One of these days I'm going to get this thing to work right. It's almost there. Oh my gosh, this is what I was talking about. Oh man, hold on, let me get a good... Alright, so that happened because of that. Uh, huh. oh, I can't till it while it's underwater, so I'm going to pick it all up. But I need to... What happens is, when you till the soil, you have like that one cube level. One square cube, or planar cube. Planar cubinal, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it gets things stuck on it. Even though the water flows over it just fine, items get stuck on it. So it's just one of those things I gotta, I gotta work around. And there's another one over there, so I gotta make sure all the soil is always tilled. All right, so let me straighten this up, and then I'm gonna get over to what we're gonna work on next. All right, gang, as you probably saw earlier, I do have a diamond axe now. So one of the things I'm gonna do is strip down all of my acacia lumber over there. And get ready to use some of it because I'm pretty confident I'm going to have an acacia lumber border. And I definitely need acacia doors. And I think the other parts will be stone brick. But we'll see how it's going to go. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there. Something's been going on. I must have come through and cut all of these before. Anyways, let me go ahead and get these knocked out. Oh, it's so fast. Let me get these knocked out and uh, we'll get over to the next spot. Okay, gang, I'm over here near the spawn chunk, which is right here. Actually, I'm in the spawn chunk. The world center is right there. There's the village there, and those three torches mark the outline of the spawn chunk on that side. And I was thinking I was going to put the iron farm in here. Not in, but like above it in that area. But it makes such a pretty little pond, and a stream comes out. And this over here is going to be all flowery and stuff, so I thought, nah, let's not do it there. Let's do it over here. So over here is the actual center of the spawn chunk, the world itself, on these four guys right here. Boop, 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 boop. And they are within this spawn chunk right here. Bam. All right. So this spot is going to be suitable, I believe, for my first iron farm. And I think I'll just go straight up with the other two. We'll get to them when we get to them. 
I think this is the layer I want to be layer level. I guess it's a layer if you want to think of it that way. This is the level upon which I want the floor to be so that people can still navigate below and uh, maybe do a couple little bits and pieces for pillars and such. And then I also want to have like a little staircase maybe that goes up to a second floor. No, I can't go up that far. So this will have to be about where it catches because I want to build three farms. And the first one's going to have to be right around probably 75 or 80. So I can maybe go up about five more blocks and actually build the farm itself and have maybe eventually enough hopper chains to have collection systems all the way along there or over there or down along there. We'll see. But uh, first things first, I've got to kind of build it up. So I'm going to get the components I need to get to do that. I didn't bring them with me. I brought a shovel because I thought I was going to dig down into the ground over there, but then thought better of it and put it over here. And yes, the stream does come down through here and trickle underneath, but from here it's more like an industrial section out to the port. And as you know from previous episodes, that's a dry riverbed. So there's a canal to be built over there. Man, these worlds kind of build themselves sometimes if you let them. Anyways, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, my friends, as you can see, the village is right over there. I am over the flyer biome hill, and I have built the platform upon which my iron farm is going to be made. Oh, boy. I just made myself look like a noob. Okay, let's get back up here and let you take another look at it real fast. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, a lot of orange and a lot of stone brick. Uh, I'm trying to keep the theme of the village together as I construct out. And uh, I haven't worked with this palette before, so I'm trying to find ways to make it work, you know, experimenting with that. Going a little bit outside of my comfort zone. As you know, I'm very accustomed to sandstone and wood. So doing something like this is a little bit better. I think this stone is kind of the outline of the iron farm that I'm going to build on top of it. And if I check my height real fast, I'm on, what, 77? So I might make it up to 80 where the actual platform so make all the killing stuff here and then have the flowing and sorting stuff there uh actually i could do the build here and then have all the sorting go that way no i want the build over the water okay so i'll do the build probably at about maybe this level where i'm jumping up to <laughs> and then that'll give me if i do that and 80 and get it up to there and then i have another 160 to go 240 it'll be a tight fit but i can th get three in here i think so here we are. It's the uh, platform upon which things are going to be built. I'll take care of these pillars in a moment. But down here, let me go on up here. It's all half slabs, lower level half slabs, so none of this is spawnable. And then there's torches on everything that is. Uh, not up there, though. So, <laughs> But we'll deal with that when we deal with that. Uh, down below, I've made each one of them like strong supporting pillar type things with a nice base, as you can see. And I kept it uneven on this side because I like the idea of having multiple poles like this is the even part the platform but everything else was built to the level it needed to be and then over here I have some other ones that was all sand so that had to be shored up a little bit down below you can see that there are stair blocks and one of these days they're gonna make it so that these partially uh, transparent blocks and water kinda work together well cosmetically but as it is as you can see it's down there also but I kinda like the idea of having those single pillars and those supports so there we go. That's part one. That's uh, part one of the iron farm, the platform upon which the sorting system is going to be. Uh, the next episode will be the sorting system and the first layer of the farm, possibly the other two layers, just uh, being there since I'll build them real quick and then prepping for loading in the villagers. OK, so if you want to see that, by all means, subscribe to this channel to be alerted for more content coming real soon. If you liked the build to this point, and I understand if you wouldn't because it was an odds and end kind of day. You know, I went and did some farming over there, some chopping wood over there, and then I came over here and made a platform, you know, whoop de boop But, uh, you know, for my niece and nephew who like watching me do things, they have a blast with it, and I'm happy because of it. So there you go. Give me a thumbs down anyways. I don't mind. Thanks for the interactions, you know. Anyways, my friends, if you want to see more, subscribe. See you real soon. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, bye-bye.